what's up guys welcome back to this week's video so in this week's episode as promised i will be announcing the winner of the giveaway and then also we'll be starting tearing the motor down taking the motor removing it um, the original motor from the car this motor will be for sale if any of you guys are interested it's a 1600 um, is 183 on the clock um, regularly maintained by us we just replaced the clutch last year um, cam belts all of that serviced um, so yeah cars the motor is in good condition if any of you guys are interested just um, hit me up on instagram it will be for sale um, not the gearbox though everything else complete um, it's 1600 carb so if you guys are interested just hit me up on instagram um, if you'd like to buy it or know of anyone looking for a motor um, the motor is in good condition i will show you a couple of clips there's no leaks um, no smoking car starts up it's probably just drop in and go so if you guys are interested hit me up um, yeah this is, might be a longer video so i don't want to really speak about um, too much um, we'll get straight into the video got 133 on the clock and i'll just show you the exhaust as well that there's no uh, smoke from the engine you can see no smoking It's up nice and clean as well. So I'm going to start off with um, removing all the wiring electronics. Disconnect the battery. Um, wiring that's all connected to the loom like fan, distributor, reverse light switch. These wiring over here. Alternator and then also the starter. Once that's done I will tackle the water piping. So this one from the radiator. There's one at the bottom end as well and then these running from the bottle and then into the heater, into the car as well. Once that's done, take out the radiator which will give me more space and then I will take it from there. basically got all the electrical stuff removed, battery you just require a 13, a 13 over here that holds the battery and then obviously the two terminals. Um, for the speedo drive you need a 8 socket and then there's two on the, oh, sorry not an 8 and 11 on the speedo drive and there's an 8 on the alternator here and a 10. So there's two wires over here that needs to be removed from the alternator 8 and a 10. And then that's basically it. I've gotten this one taken out from the distributor. There's a wire over here. And then from the coil I removed that wire. Um, reverse light switch. Fan. Alternator. I mean radiator. And then on the oil switch over there as well. Now I'm gonna tackle the um, water pipes. Just these two. This one on the radiator. And the one at the bottom. And then there's a couple over here as well that needs to just be removed. And don't forget to put like a tray or something at the bottom um, to catch the water while you're draining it. piping loose it's just these one two three four um, over here and then these two over here I forgot I'm taking the radiator out so I took this one off as well now I just got to take this one it's a 10 and this 10 over here take the radiator off 
and it will give us a bit more space to work with. The radiator is out as you can see it gives you much more space to work with um, all I got to do now is take a couple of these few lines off these few lines here and take the starter off as well and then I've got to take to loosen the drive shaft once that's all loosened jack the car up and put a crossbar across here to keep the engine and then we can start loosening all the uh, mountings I also forgot to mention that you just also need to take loose um, the gear shop linkages so I'll get to that as well and then I'm also going to take off this air filter box just to free up some space as well um, before I take the lines off. So I've gotten both pipes moved over here, took the accelerator cable out and also the uh, choke. Just remove the pipe that goes across here into the brake booster and then the two linkages have also been um, taken off. So I still need to get the exhaust loosened over there at the back, um, the mountings and the drive shaft. Got the car jacked up nice and high on um, a couple of stands and then I was going to drop the whole motor with the gearbox but since we don't have the, um, the crane or the thing to hold the motor um, we're going to take the gearbox out first just so that it's lighter we're also going to remove the whole drive shaft so there's a bit more space to work with it's not really necessary to do that but it's just going to give us a bit more space to work with um, so we're going to take the gearbox out now and once that's out then we'll try and take the motor see if we can make it work without the, um, the crane so I'm going to loosen this now and then the CVs as well and then that should take the drive shaft out once that's removed we can take the gearbox loose, shoot it loose and drop the gearbox it will be a bit more easy for us to work with at the end of the day the gearbox has to be removed because I'm going to be reusing that with the new motor um, obviously just sending it away for some modifications um, to make the 2 litre clutch work as well so um, the gearbox has to be removed that's why I'll be taking it out now to loosen this over here you'll need a 30 socket 30 on there we're going to use a, um, a gun, an air gun just to shoot it loose and then you'll need an 8 spline for the CVs
we managed to get the whole motor out without the engine jack. We just use a normal jack. Luckily that worked for us. Um, I didn't really feel much of removing the gearbox because I have posted another video when I done the rear main seal on how to remove the gearbox. So I'll leave a link for that if you guys want to find out how to remove the gearbox. I also didn't feel much of the rest of removing the motor because um, today is Sunday and I still want to post like on the regular uploading schedule. So I still need to edit this video. That's why I just rushed that part at the end but we got everything out. The motor is completely removed, everything is out. However, I'm not too sure whether I'm going to do a wire tuck and a flushing of the bay because the modifications and the motor did take a lot of the budget up so I'm still contemplating on that and I still need to get a fuel injection tank, I still need to get management. So there's still a lot of stuff that I need to do. We're getting the motor, we're getting the head back on Tuesday that's coming back from the engineers and then we can start assembling and hopefully start with installing new stuff depending on what I'm gonna do I'm still con contemplating on what I'm gonna do but I'll keep you guys posted with that I mean probably what all you guys are here for is the giveaway um, there might be a bit of controversy around this that's why I'm gonna leave it up to you guys I'm gonna show you everything is a random because exactly the same as the previous giveaway however I'll just play this clip for you that I screen recorded um, when doing the random picker So as you can see the competition was won by Wade and um, it wasn't rigged or anything that's why I say it's going to be a bit of controversy. So what I've decided to do is you guys can decide whether Wade keeps the prize or if I just do a redraw. Um, there wasn't any terms and conditions stipulated like who can enter, who can't enter. So I didn't say Wade can't enter, he commented and he just luckily by the draw he won. But it's up to you guys if you can keep the prize or if I'm just going to have to do another random draw. It's entirely up to you. Sorry Wade, um, you did win. But you know what I mean. Anyway, on that bombshell, I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for next week. I'm not too sure what we're going to do yet, but we'll see. I um, hope you guys enjoying the content. Um, have a liquor, festive, be safe. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Yeah.